Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and in today's video I'm going to show you how I make my out school class thumbnails. It's super easy. I have a free Canva Pro account and if you don't know how to get a Canva Pro account for free if you're a teacher, it only works if you're a teacher. Actually, I think it also works if you're a student or work for something. I don't know. Follow the steps if you're not a teacher and see if you can get it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. If you want a Canva Pro account for free, which I highly recommend, check out my last video. I will link it. I don't know which side. I never know which side. That little eye card pops up, which by the way, I always have that eye card. Lots of very helpful videos pop down. But anyway, my last video, I showed you how to get the Canva Pro account for free if you are a teacher. So definitely get that and then follow this tutorial on how to make your own out school class image easy for free and make it pop. Without further ado, this is how you do it. So first off, I like to put my picture in all of my out school class images. Why? Because it's an easy way to differentiate your class, your class thumbnail from other people's class thumbnail. No one else has your face. And if you go on out school, all you're going to see is a sea of clip art thumbnails and all this other stuff. And if you want to go that route and you don't want to put your face in there, totally fine, up to you. But I'm going to show you how I cut out my face and stick it in my thumbnail. And again, if you're not into that, you know, skip this step. Um, but I do suggest it. I got this tip from teacher Daniel on YouTube, definitely go follow him, but I do it mainly to differentiate myself from other thumbnails and also parents like to know what you look like. So you kind of save them a step from, you know, clicking on the class, you know, looking that far into it. You already look nice and happy and cheery in your thumbnail. It's going to leave a positive impression on them. So that's pretty much the gist. Again, do it if you want to, don't if you don't want to, but first what I do is I take about a two minute video of me just doing different poses, smiling, and every time I like a pose, I pause it. I don't really like that, but um, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I pause it, and I hit Command Shift 4. That allows me to take a screenshot. I'm obviously not going to use this. <laughs> it's just for demonstration purposes, but once that's done, and I've gone through this whole thing, I've picked all the pictures I like of myself, I go to my screenshots, which clearly I have a ton of selfies of me, um, and I kind of just pull them all up. I like to see which ones, which ones are going to work, um, and then I just pick my favorite and go with it. I choose this one, so remember that it comes in handy in a second. So let's go here. We're on Canva. This is my Canva Pro account that I got for free. And if you want to know how to get it for free, definitely check out my video, how to get Canva Pro for free if you are a teacher. And it'll bring you here. But for the out school thumbnail course image, whatever you want to call it, I just use the YouTube thumbnail dimensions. It's 1280 times 720 pixels. It has worked for me. So I just use this. Now here it is. And then what I do is I go to elements and I just type in square. <laughs> Any square, really I should pick a rectangle, really. Rectangle, since this is a rectangle. And it almost really doesn't matter, this is fine. And I make it really big. <laughs> make it big enough to cover the entire square. Now, after I do that, I pick a color. And to do that, I just click on the image. Then I click up here and I can click any color my little heart desires. So if I want red or purple or pink, blue, and you can make a new color over here. So I'm just going to make this, yeah, let's make it like a purpley, a blurple, if you will. This, actually, I kind of wanted to get this color. Let's make it this color. This is a fun color. Okay, so now that I have this on there, Let's do this for a cat or <laughs> a class about cats. I'm going to make a whole class about cats. So actually, I want to make this pink because I just do. So there we go. It's pink. I'm happy. So I want to stick my picture on there first because I personally myself, I just want my own picture on there. So let me tell you how to do that. So remember that picture that we picked out before? Well, it comes in handy now. So go to background dot bg okay go here upload image oops yes okay this is fine 
upload image. We're going to do desktop. Okay, you can go this way. It's going to take me forever to find this picture because obviously I have a lot of screenshots. But I'm just going to throw in this picture. If you, if you have a Mac, this will work. So when you throw in the picture, it gets rid of the background for you. There you go. You don't have to worry about removing the background. And also this website is totally free. And it works so stinking easy. Like this is easier than Photoshop. And I really like Photoshop. So download. And then it's going to download right down there. So go back to our thumbnail. And we are going to upload that. There. Perfect. Perfect. It's uploading. Perfect. So once it's uploaded to your uploads section on Canva, just hit this and there you go. You can play around with it. You can move it anywhere. I'm just going to stick it here because obviously I'm pointing up. <laughs> and there you have it. And so then after that, because this again is a cat, why do I keep saying that? It's a class about cats, not a cat about class. I'm going to go to elements and on elements you can it's pretty much Google search. You can put in anything. So I've searched turkeys. Let's type in old people because that's what's featured. Oh, people on bikes for some reason. Cool. And with the pro account, see all these little EDU stickers? You can use pretty much anything. Pretty much, if it was a quote unquote normal account, it would say pro and you could use those. And other things would say free. Some of these say free. Let's type in cats, like I said. So see, this one's free. So pretty much anyone, whether they pay for Canva, don't pay for Canva, or have this educator's account like I do, can use this image. But I... Where are all these images? Oh, that's cute. Oh, on theme. So yeah, you can pretty much pick whatever you want. And all you have to do is click the image to move it. And it's... Pretty cool, pretty cool. This one's cute too. Oh, okay. Oh, for a second, I went behind my background. So when that happens, just hit position and you can hit backward. Oops, see? Now it went behind this pink one. See? And to bring it forward, use this hit position. Oh, well, now it's clicked on the pink one. So I'm going to hit the pink one backward. And oops, there you go. Now the cat is back. So let's see. I also like how they have these. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's super cute. Okay, let's do put this behind. So backward, backward, backward. Oh, how cute. That's fun. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not putting cat class by Catherine, <laughs> by the way, what a name. It's because Out School runs Facebook and Instagram ads for your classes. So I am a Facebook ad person. <laughs> I run Facebook ads for companies and Facebook has a strict rule that says you can't have more than 20% of your ad have words. So any words that you put on an image has to be 20% or less. Now what I do is just to avoid getting my class not listed, just to make it easier myself, I don't use any words. There will be words around this that say cat class with Catherine or something ridiculous like that. So um, I don't worry about words, I just put a bunch of pictures. So yeah, that's why. So I highly recommend to you, don't put any words on your image, just use pictures. It will get the message across. Just make it fun and, you know, make it cute. Also, if you want to delete something, just click it and hit the backspace. All done. So yeah, I'm pretty content with this as my, oops, as my cat class with Catherine. And so when you're done with all this, you're just gonna hit download, download, and once it's downloaded, you can easily just upload it to your OutSchool class. There you go. And yeah, it's that easy. So thank you so much for watching. If this helped you at all, please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me, and in return, I help you. Um, so yeah. And if you'd like to become an OutSchool teacher, my referral link is in the description. By using that link, it helps me. And like I just said, when you help me, I help you back. I have tons of resources, and I offer one-on-one -on -one help to all my referrals to get them through the out school application process or VIP kid or palfish or Facebook Instagram ads whatever just reach out and I help okay okay so anyway please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other helpful videos and I will see you in the next one bye